taken up by the plankton, it gets plankton at the base of the food chain, these will get up into the fish and then ultimately end up in our tables again. So we're sort of poisoning ourselves, sadly. American oceanographer Charles Moore has labelled plastic pollution as a bigger problem than climate change and one that must be fixed. It's murderous uh, to marine ecosystems. It's acting as both predator and prey. As predator, it's tangling things up uh, and killing them. Uh, we estimate uh, just in the North Pacific alone, 100,000 million mammals flying every year tangled up in this stuff. Captain Moore is the founder of California's Agalita Marine Research Institute. In 1987, he was sailing between Hawaii and the Californian coast when he discovered what is now known as the Pacific Garbage Patch. That's an enormous whirlpool of plastic marine debris, which is shifted and accumulated by currents in the Pacific Ocean. Captain Moore is now in Australia to start what he calls the Plastic Conversation. The question I get wherever I go on this tour is, are we a little better or a little worse than our neighbor up the road or down the road? And frankly, I can find you absolutely horrible examples in Australia of plastic waste clogging your waterway. And he says it's not just marine creatures that are hurt by plastic in water. The mutton bird, the shearwaters here in Australia, used to five years ago have 70% with plastic. And now it's 100% of all birds. And these are the most common seabirds in the world, but the shearwater, 100% the of them have been in plastic. They're starting to be population level effects. Captain Moore estimates up to 100 million tons of plastic washed into the world's oceans in the five decades between 1950 and 2000. He says that figure is...